Now here in Kuching, 7-Elevens are not the biggest and best convenient shops in town. They lack variety and the most a traveler might buy are soft drinks, chips, and snacks, and water. You'll find a huge selection of condoms and chewing gum in the front of the cash register. There's standard beverages. They must left their milk and their yogurt drinks because there's an entire refrigerator dedicated to it. Then you have a huge variety of coffee. Here's your Red Bull. Then they stock quite a bit of international soft drinks, like Western soft drinks. So KK is a Malay-owned convenience store, and it's kind of kind of looks like 7-Eleven from the outside. Are you going inside? It's a slightly different but same experience. While 7-Eleven has a lot of Western drink brands, KK has a lot of Sarawakian brands or flavors. And I'm definitely noticing a pattern with condoms. They're always seemingly at the front of every convenience store near the register and there's always like this sizable variety and quantity of them. And then right next door you have chewing gum. Toiletries and bathroom aisle. Now here's the deodorant. Interestingly, this is called Casablanca, which is a deodorant for women. And I feel like if you put this on, romance is in the air and you can feel like Ingrid Bergman looking for your Humphrey Bogart. If your stamp had ink ever ran low, then you can come here and refill it for $1.24. Badminton must be big in this town. KK has a lot of Sarawakian brands or flavors, like lychee flavor drinks and guava. This is the instant noodle aisle, and there's a variety of brands and flavors here, which I feel like might be echoing Kolomi. We have Assam Laksa. Assam must be awesome. It's actually a sour tamarind flavor, and Laksa is a spicy noodle dish. Here's Tom Yum flavored noodles. This goes back. This is always a good travel tool to pick up for humid environments. This is an electrical mosquito repellent. You plug it into the, your wall outlet and it perfumes the air with a repellent solution which is supposed to um, chase away mosquitoes. Now what would a convenience store be without flip-flops in the case you, you know, broke your flip-flops? Here's some socks. And for those who need a plug extension, here you go. Ah, shrimp paste. All these curious things, you know, these cooking things. You have like cumin powder, agar agar. I guess you can make your own tomato soup. There's a lot of cooking condiments, like bouillon cubes, and I think this is flavored coloring. This is the aisle that always interests me, and it's the snacks section. So they have the big roll seaweed stick that you'll find in Thailand as well. And then you have a huge assortment of Mentos. There are Mento flavors here that I've not seen in the United States. Like air action Mentos? Like what is that? I think I have to try this and see what the difference is. Here's Mentos chewing gum. We definitely don't have this in the United States yet. And this has center filled with breath freshening mint. I love this natural world. So we have discovered that um, Kinder was illegal in the US and that's because Kinder candies come with like a little toy in the back and the US is kind of like outlawed any kind of candies with toys. They have a Kinder version for boys and for girls. So you get two different types of toys. I've been noticing stores like KK and Everize having um, dried fruits and nuts. Oh, that looks good. Like a whole mixed nuts bag. This is nine ringgits. That's like almost close to two dollars. This, I actually am tempted to take my tape take one of these home for my dad. He loves his mixed nuts, but I, I think this would completely surprise him. Everize is one of the grocery stores that you might see fairly common in Kuching. It's kind of like a good go-to spot if you need groceries or you want household appliances or um, toiletries. Uh, I even found like some travel adapters here. The prices here are pretty reasonable. It's kind of like the, the one-stop shopping here in Kuching. Even water, I think, is fairly inexpensive here. I got water and some, some fruits. This is 
is like a whole uh, little section here that's dedicated completely to Mentos, like different types of Mentos from from regular stick rolls to kids Mentos to chews, and they've even got lychee flavored Mentos. I'm curious about these because these are yogurt flavored Mentos. Also these kind of like breath mint mentos with little things inside of them. Um, you got all different flavors. Holy mackerel, that's like wow. Chewing gum mentos. Chewing gum mentos. Holy cow, they've got like a ton. Sugar-free mentos. Okay, this one has green tea in it. Um, now Malaysia didn't create Mentos, so technically this shouldn't be in my list. But the fact that there's a whole section dedicated to different types of Mentos, a variety of them, a variety of flavors that I've not even experienced yet, then you ask me, I would say that Malaysia owns Mentos. But I feel like I feel like condoms are pretty much like at the forefront of everything. Um, register here. Maybe I'm just hitting the certain stores with registers that have condoms placed right next to them. But you know, I guess in the States we're just not used to that. They put the condoms way in the back or kind of sneak it off to the side, but they don't really... I didn't know there was such a large assortment of, of condom styles that you could, you could use. Comfort. Love. Pleasure. 